Rao here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this wonderful Wednesday here in Connecticut. Life's good, campers. Life is good. Anyway, some one-handed swings, some snatches, about 350 of them. Once again, it's a miserable day outside weather-wise. So we keep it inside and get our strength, flexibility, and endurance from the kettlebells. All right, let's see what we got. Haven't played a note. It's got some work done this morning. Uh, had wife, uh, wife, had breakfast with my gorgeous wife. And uh, let's see what we got. Did some kettlebells, and here we are. All right, you saw the thumbnail. Play behind the horn. I told you, we're getting back to pedagogy. Okay. With that said, I got a tremendous, tremendous clip of Doc, which I will use later on. All right? I've never seen it before. All right? Let me hunt. Let's see what we got. We'll talk about play behind the horn. Anyway, another glitch. Guys, uh, the computer's been acting up, and everybody that uh, had a lesson yesterday, my Skype was all screwed up. It's back. If I haven't, if you had a lesson yesterday, and I haven't gotten back to you, I'm pretty sure i gotten back to everybody. Uh, please get in touch with me now, as soon as you see this, okay? If, if I haven't gotten back to you, it's an oversight. All right. With that said, Play behind the horn. Guys, this is just, you know, we talk about relaxing the corners. Tongue, don't overblow. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing with that Clark study, Clark number three. As fast as Vizzuti could do. Does it make me a Vizzuti player? Come on, come on, come on, stop. All right? But guys, you're playing behind the horn. That is why I don't need to warm up. That is why I very rarely need to warm up. That is why I can jump from trumpet to trumpet. You don't believe me? You must believe me after all these years of watching. Maybe we have new... Uh... <laughs> Guys, that is with no warm-up other than kettlebells and the same mouthpiece. How can I do that? Guys, I'm playing behind the horn. Okay? Guys, and nothing, nothing helps you create this hyper radiation, this compression outside of the trumpet playing, nothing helps you do it more than kettlebells. Oh, that's kettlebells for singers. The other one is KBs for double Cs. It's the same thing. And SFE. I incorporate them every single day. Whether I'm playing or not, guys, that's another thing. When I am out of town, Go visit my mother, go to Jersey, go to Las Vegas, whatever the case may be. I bring a kettlebell. I don't bring a kettlebell on the plane. I make sure I'm staying in a hotel that has kettlebells in their, in their uh, athletic room. It creates the compression. 
Guys, I'd be hard pressed to say anybody in the world, doesn't make me the best trumpet player in the world, but anybody in the world gets more compression from their spit buzz than I do. <laughs> Guys, I get more sound on the spit buzz than most people do on the trumpet. It, I've said this before, it doesn't project because my hand doesn't have the projected qualities of, but sitting next to me, oh, you play the trumpet, I spit buzz, I can, I can cover you. Sitting out in the audience, you wouldn't hear it. Anyway, guys, that's because I'm playing behind the horn and I'm creating compression inside the mouth with the tongue. Guys, everybody talks about building up, <laughs> building up the abicularosaurus. No, it's all done with the tongue. And even the most feeble, the most feeble 90 year old trumpet player, okay? has enough strength in the tongue to play double C's. <laughs> Maybe not the compression I do, that comes from strength in the core and all that sort of stuff. But they, it, that's, that's the only thing you're building up muscle-wise. The rest is compression, hyper-irradiation. And the great ones, Wayne Bargeron, Fattis, they had it, but they had it when they were 10 years old. Legend goes, Bargeron was playing double C's before he could play low C's. They just figure out a way to do it. Naturally, it came naturally. Harry James, Maynard Ferguson, they're not doing kettlebells. Okay? They had the compression. Now, when Maynard got older, when Harry got older, and their, their, their uh, instrument, started to dissipate, they couldn't create the compression anymore. Certainly not for the length of time. Every now and then they'd come out with something hot lick. It went down. The compression, the ability to compress. Maurice, same thing. Same thing. As he got older, his instrument began to decline, dissipate, thus his playing. It's as simple as that. Doc figured it out. Doc figured it out in spades. But once again, mid-90s, late-90s, whatever he is at the moment. What is he, 96, 97, 95? I don't know. Can't keep track of old Doc. But um, when he couldn't do it anymore, it was because his body gave out. It wasn't, it wasn't the tongue. It wasn't the chops. Compression. Hyper-radiation allows you to play behind the horn and keep that godforsaken mouthpiece off your lip. Guys, get a 1SP, get a book. You can have both those books, 10 bucks a piece. Contact me at the email at the end of this uh, video. You'll have the books today, okay, and get to work. Get yourself a 35-pound kettlebell. I can give you a lesson over Skype on kettlebell that can t tell you how to incorporate it into your trumpet playing. Those are all my students that have uh, incorporated the kettlebell, even begrudgingly, many of them, all of their tone power range and endurance improved. Case closed. All right? Play behind the horn. Spit buzz, relax the corner, proper tongue position, don't overblow. And the world is yours, Chico, and everything in it. Love you all, guys.